Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos as I show coins of around the world and the U.S. At least helps you out to acquire good coins from different parts of the world within your own country, the U.S. Okay. Objective of the of this uh, channel is to at least help you as a beginner, intermediate, or advanced collector if you are interested in uh, going out to different countries and collecting specific coins that will show some nice good growth and that are very highly collected and in demand by collectors, okay? So uh, these coins have a very nice track record of increasing in value. So getting the nice high grades, uh, getting the nice appeal, getting these scarce coin, definitely you'll have a nice number of collectors looking for these coins. So when it's time for you to sell, you'll have a good number of collectors interested in acquiring your collection. Uh, today what we have here is a nice five coins uh, from South Africa, uh, Czar collection. Uh, this is five pieces. Denomination is uh, from the one cent up to two and a half shilling. Of course, the only one I'm missing is the five shilling, which is extremely rare and high grade. And so if you were able to get the five shilling, the 1892 five shilling, in high grade, it would probably run you about five to eight thousand dollars if it's MS60 or better. So what I have are the the minor coins from the from the penny all the way to the two and a half shillings. Of course, there's also the three pence and the six pence, and uh, I got the shilling, the two shilling, and the two and a half uh, shilling available here for you. But if you would like to collect the whole type set, definitely it would be a nice collection, especially in high grades. Uh, this series started in 1892 and ends in 1898. Okay, very nice collection, very nice series, but they do get very expensive and very high grades due to the high demand and scarcity of the coin. Okay, so the first coin we're going to take a look at today, I got five of them, all certified by NGC, is the 1892. This is the first year of issue. This is a beautiful coin, certified NGC 62. Uh, this one here has a mintage of only started with 60,000 being the first year of issue. And of course, a lot of these coins were uh, circulated, melted down. So only a very few number of these coins available in this high grade. And of course, these coins are very expensive in this particular grade. So getting one with nice eye appeal, exceptionally clean from bag marks is very difficult. And of course, the high point, of course, is the beard and the hair, eyebrow. And those are the things you look at on this particular coin to show that the full detail. And those are the wear points that you want to look for. Beautiful coin, extremely rare in this high grade. On the reverse, very nice shield. And of course, beautiful coin, sharply struck, highly desirable in this grade. This is again, the first year of issue, has a very low mintage and exceptionally very rare with this beautiful appeal. And these coins here can go from Five to 10,000, depending on how high the grade is. A very nice coin, highly desirable. A key date, the 1892, due to its low mintage. And so only a very few in this high grade survive. So definitely the demand is there. And of course, the inventory is very small for those collectors. Something that you wanna consider when you buy rare coins get the best you can depending on what you're what you can afford but definitely the 1892 and ms60 or better is one of those coins that you want to add to your collection next one we have is of course this is a one shilling and this is an 1897 the last year of issue again you always get a mint stake Coin. Even though this one here has a high mintage, uh, mint state is very scarce. 
on this coin because like I said, many of these coins were heavily circulated. So finding one in uncirculated gets very difficult. So when it's time for you to liquidate, you should have no problem acquiring these coins or selling it to other collectors. Very nice coin. And on the reverse, a very nice one shilling with the wreath, 1897. A very nice coin to add to your collection. Beautiful coin. This one here did have a high mintage, but as I mentioned, this was heavily circulated, and so only very few numbers are in uncirculated condition. Same with the two shilling on this 1897. Again, this is graded NGC 62, very nice. And definitely normally you'll see this coin with a lot of bag marks on the field. That field is pretty wide, exceptionally very clean. And so you'll see normally what you usually see is a lot of bag marks, uh, distraction and things like that. This one here is a very nice coin, highly desirable in this particular grade. On the reverse, again, very nice. And let's get this little mark off here. So again, very nice detail. And on the coin, a lot of detail on this coin. So that's what you wanna look at. A little bit original toning, but overall a very nice coin. So very nice addition to your collection. So always try to get the an MS60 or better on these coins uh, since uh, circulated coins are plentiful. So get an MS60 or better. The higher the grade, the better it is because there's only a few available in high grade. Beautiful coin, highly sought up by a lot of collectors from South Africa and of course the British Commonwealth. Very nice addition to your collection. Now this one here we have is also 97, two and a half shilling. Now this one is a beautiful coin, nice luster, exceptionally clean from the, any problem. So very nice eye appeal, full luster in this coin, nice sharp strike. So definitely a nice coin for this particular date and extremely rare in this grade. Normally you'll see the coin in XF AU condition that you can pick up for maybe couple of hundred dollars but when you get to this grade or better then we're looking between five and twenty five hundred dollars and this is a high grade if this was a 65 eh, then we're looking about maybe three to four thousand dollar coin okay so beautiful coin very nice coin to add to your collection very rare in this nice high grade of course the reverse also very nice Beautiful coin, full luster, sharp detail, exceptionally well struck, very nice appeal. Just a gorgeous coin. Definitely when it's time for me to sell this coin, I'll have a lot of potential buyers or at least viewers to look at the coin because this is one coin here that definitely you want to add to your collection. And these coins will continue to increase in value because these coins are hard to find in this particular grade. And the last coin we're gonna see, this is the 1898 uh, penny. It is graded NGC 64 red brown. Very nice color, mostly red, nice appeal. Very difficult to find in this condition. I do have in 65. You wanna get these coins in red as best as possible. Uh, brown ones are hard to sell. So you wanna get the red, okay? So you know this coin here, get them red as best as possible. Even though they're uh, indicated as red brown, this is more red than it is brown. Beautiful coin. And of course, this particular penny, they have the 1892 to the 1898. The 93 and the 94 are the key dates. 98 is a common date, but very uh, rare in high grade, especially if it's a full strike. 
Normally on the reverse, this coin does not have a full strike at 12 o'clock on the circle. And you see some weakness on the soldier, but the weakness is on 12 o'clock on the circle. So if you do have, if you do come across one that has a full circle, definitely you are getting a premium coin and it'll be a rare coin to find as I've been looking for one with a full circle, full circle for quite some time. And as of yet, I have not found one. So if you come across one with a full circle, definitely you got a fully struck 1898 penny, which is extremely rare. Okay, this one here, again, the weakness you'll see at 12 o'clock, normally the soldier is flat, and normally the top of the circle is either there or it's very weakly strike. Okay, a very nice coin. And always, like I said, get these pennies as red as possible as you can get. Beautiful coin. Definitely something that you want to consider adding to your collection. Now, I enjoy collecting coins from South Africa because I have a good track record of seeing these coins continue to grow in value. And I just don't see them going down in value because there's more collectors than there are supply. So the demand is high and the supply is low, especially in high grades. And of course, you want to collect the high grades since the circulated coins are not quite appealing as the high grades are. Okay, the 1892. Definitely a rare, rare coin. Now, 1897, not as rare, but rare in high grade because the majority of these coins got circulated and melted down. So a very few of these coins you'll find in high grade. So definitely this coin here is available to you, but get them in MS60 or better. And if you're able to get one in 63 or 65, that is extremely rare coin. Maybe you'll end up paying a couple thousand dollars for the coin, okay? As far as 92, you'll be paying a pretty hefty price for that coin in MS60 or better. And sometimes you'll see these coins up to 10 to $25,000, depending on how nice the coin is. And of course, dealers will ask whatever they want to ask, okay? You as the uh, as the collector, okay, can always negotiate uh, prices with these dealers, okay? Don't hesitate not to. Always negotiate with the dealer. Never buy uh, coins uh, directly at whatever price they ask, okay? Always negotiate, learn to negotiate, and be able to acquire a discount so you are not utilizing, okay, and paying the full price a dealer asks. I'm a dealer, I give discounts. You ask for it, if it's reasonable, you know, and I can live with it, definitely I will give you a discount. So you're happy and I'm happy. I made a little bit, you saved a little bit, okay? So definitely always negotiate the prices on what you buy, okay? There's always gonna be somebody that will give you your asking price or give you maybe part of your asking price, okay? Uh, collecting is fun, enjoy it. Collect coins of the world. So get out of your you know, box and uh, go out and check out a few other countries. Uh, enjoy the videos I have provided since I have collected pretty much from A to Z along with US coins. So uh, you should see a lot of coins from around the world in my channel so if you like my videos please like subscribe comment uh, ring the bell so you'll get notified of future videos and hopefully uh, the objective is to at least give you ideas uh, and what to collect and what not to collect and of course make some money and still enjoy the hobby take care for now have a great day and wait for my next video as I upload new ones to Rare World Coins.
Till next time, have a great day.